There's like a minute of free time save. B, thank you for getting the sub to Volky. I appreciate that starting a scam train. Let's go, Poggers. I love scamming my audience. It's my favorite thing. Enjoy the emotes, Volky. So there is actually like a free minute of time save just on timer changing. Classic RE4. I'm not saying it's possible to get a PB on this one no reset run, but it's possible to get a PB on this one no reset run. I actually had uh, Frenchie go through my VOD yesterday, love like my most recent run, and critique it and give me a bunch of stuff to like work on. So that's what's up. Might actually help a little bit. Yo, Watcher! Thank you for gifted two subs, bro, to Dr. Shy Guy and Stampede. Enjoy the emotes, you guys. Thank you so much. Very much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. I hope, hope you enjoy the emotes. Sub badges. Thank you so much, Watcher. Someone's excited for RE4. We'll see how long I can play it before I lose my mind. Considering I was just playing Remake, probably not that long. But we'll see. I only have time for one no reset today anyways, so... Reset, bro. I messed up the menu. 10 minutes. When I get to Delago, that's when I'll be tilted. He's saying I'm gonna fall off the boat. Because we're gonna carry the boats, right? And the logs. David Gog is gonna be proud of me. Okay, for a second there, I was scared. I thought maybe the grenade wasn't gonna go off, but we're good. You forgot David Goggins exists? Bro, you haven't been going to the gym. I can tell you that. Yeah, that makes me sad. But also, I have no fingers to point here because I haven't been either. I've been blowing it. I'm supposed to be going hiking today, though. Right after this run, actually. I'm here for it. Crip Bozo. What? Hiking's fun. Someone redeemed an ab check like way earlier and I just said no. You better hike? I want to. That was the plan. Tree skip? No. Damn it. So there's a trick there where if you just wait a really long time before rolling, then you land in front of the tree and it saves one second. But if you do it too late, then you die. Did I really? Yes, I did. I I was in the middle of the fucking bingo, okay? I was busy. I won, so it's justified. Gonna make it up now. I'll make it up soon, TM. 316. That's really bad. I want like a 310. All good though. Just warm it up. Okay, I need to not do my muscle memory here. Like, the, like going around like this is way faster than a quick turning. That was like the number one criticism that Frenchie gave me is like you just quick turn way too much when you don't need to. That loses you time. I also could just not. That's true. I could just be like, get fucked, your points are mine now. Have I played 4hook 1.45 on DMC4 yet? I have not, no. It looks really good though. I retweeted it. No, I'm not gonna refund them. They're just gonna get scammed. Oh my god. I've never been so close to being touched in my life. I could feel his breath on my neck. For 20, let's go! The sex number, dude. Poggers. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Nice point. Okay, also, apparently, I shouldn't reload here. It's slow and not necessary. I should just wait for a second.
Good, good, good. Much better. He says, having absolutely zero clue if he's playing any better than before. Oops. That was slow. Thank you for the scam train, y'all. Appreciate it. I see green, so Monkey Brain says that's good. It is good. A lot of it's cheater time save, though, from New Timer, you know? Like, I definitely wouldn't be ahead if it weren't for the New Timer right now. That was bad, but it could have been worse, all good. So, about green numbers. About that. I uh, thought my splits were wrong, but they're just named wrong. They're not incorrect, so oops. That's fine. That's not a real gold. I would have been fine with ammo if I didn't miss. That is kind of a cute one. You're kind of a cute one. But no, I haven't played at all really with four hook and vanilla four. I want to. It's just that I haven't really done any challenge runs of DMC four because I'm not very good at DMC four. So like it makes it hard for me to want to do challenge runs and stuff. I definitely want to do some like gimmick speedruns, like playing as Dante the whole time, you know, or like playing as Nero the whole game. However, uh, I'm worried about the Proud Soul system because you get like way less Proud Souls in vanilla. I'm curious if 4Hook can like fix that, maybe. That'd be a great feature request. is for four hook to like make the proud souls work like special edition that actually might already be a thing i just don't know ldk would fix that it's a meme run not really though like i couldn't do new game runs ever I mean, I could do like new game plus LDK, but new game LDK is like way more interesting, right? I'm not supposed to quick turn there. I shouldn't have quick turned the first time either. My muscle memory is taking over. But it should. What's up, Alfitra? How you doing? Good to see you. I've never played a Kirby game. He's cute though. I always made him in Smash because I have no idea how to play the game, so I just let other people fight and then fly in the air and down B. And that's just how I play Smash. It's the down B game for me. Yeah, so the problem is I can't play vanilla and do runs like that because, um, because, yeah, like the Proud Souls routing is messed up. Hey, Play King. Thanks for good luck. I lost the first bingo, Jordan, but we played a second one afterwards and I won that one. We both definitely didn't want to do a third today, but we will in the future. Get that two out of three going. Hog, not an early dive, and I'm going to get stun skip. Surely I won't get perfect RNG on my first run back. And I'll never get good RNG again. Okay, not perfect RNG. Late dive. 
So if you don't know, there, this boss has three RNG patterns. Early dive, late dive, and no dive. No dive is the fastest. Late dive loses eight seconds. Early dive loses 20. And it's just pure randomness, so nothing you can do about it. Common waifu W. I got fucking destroyed the first race though. No. B is down bad, this is what I'm saying. It will. You mobile. To be fair, both were close in numbers. Yeah, there was a couple, of, I guess the first race is actually pretty close. There was a couple spots where like, I definitely could have taken the lead and won had a, uh, had I been like a little bit faster. If you PB here, are you gonna add more commentary and pose for the GDQ submission? Probably not. Um, if I do PB here, then I'm gonna PB again. <laughs> like one, I am 53rd place in this game, which is pretty terrible. And I would like my time to be a lot better than that. So just a PB would not really be enough. I want like a much better PB, like a, like a minute or two probably. Um, and even if I do get like the PB that I want, I wouldn't do post commentary over it. Because the thing is with GDQ submissions, they don't actually like watch the run. The number one thing is like, which games do they want? And then once they know which games they want, then they'll figure out like categories and stuff. And so most runs, they don't end up watching at all. And especially like I'm a trusted source, I've done GDQ runs before and stuff. There probably isn't much reason for them to watch the run at all for me. It seems kind of unlikely. Um, unless it's something that they don't understand. Like I'm also going to submit RE4 Randomizer. And so, like, they don't know what that's like, so they're probably going to watch it just to, like, see what it is, you know? But they don't have enough manpower or time to be able to, like, actually vet quality of comms or anything. So, there's, like, no point in doing post-commentary, unless it's something that really needs it, where, like, they wouldn't be able to understand it, unless you had post-commentary. Do I like spaghetti? Do I like carbohydrates, tomato sauce combined? Yes. I, I think that carbs and tomato sauce are really good together. Especially if you add cheese. I, I, I don't think there's a person on earth that doesn't like that actually. And if they say they don't, they're lying. They're lying 100%. It's just like biologically built into humans to enjoy carbohydrates and cheese and tomato sauce. You don't? You're literally, you're just lying to my face. I can't believe you. You like pizza. That's literally the same thing. I'm pretty sure I read somewhere, and by read, I mean someone mentioned it in my Twitch chat, and I read it there, that cheese literally activates the same part of your brain that cocaine does. Leon, shoot those wagons on that barrel. You like the taste, but not how it impacts your body. Well, duh. Carbs are not good for you. You're diabetic. Diabetes. Carbs aren't good for anybody, to be fair. You shouldn't be eating that many carbs. But, uh, you know, I also shouldn't be spending eight hours a day playing video games. So, you know, bite me, God. I live in Arizona, all right? My existence in this state is just like a testament to man's arrogance towards what you should and shouldn't do. And I'm here for it. I'm down. Well, 
When life gives you lemons, take the lemons in your hand and be like, what the fuck is this god? I don't want lemons. And then throw the lemons at the sky. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade out of God's blood. Exactly. Alright, cabin time. Focus mode. Are you trying to kill me? Use this. Uh-oh. My inventory is fucking decimated. So cabin is something where it's not on a timer. You have to kill 40 enemies. And once you kill 40 enemies, then cabin ends. Uh, so we were trying to lure in enemies to the room so I can kill as many of them with grenades at once as possible. And we do that by, are you trying to kill me? Trying to kill Lewis. Um, that stops him from shooting them. So you can let them inside. I have seen the new cabin strat. I'm not gonna learn it on the sea rust. If I get the run into GDQ, then I'll learn it, but it's just not worth it right now. I don't have enough time. I only have to the 24th. This is like not a lot of time. So I'm not gonna learn new village. I'm not gonna learn new inventory. I'm not gonna learn new cabin. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Thank you. Terrible cabin. Unlucky. Wait till the 24th? Yes, sir. I don't have much time. I was hoping to have a lot more time to de-rust this so that I could submit, but then I literally checked Twitter like two days ago. Might have been yesterday even. And it was like, oh shit. GDQ submission is closed on the 24th. I thought I had more time. I thought I had like a month. And I got a de-rust new game pro and a merchant. When you were a kid, your family would take you to Red Lobster and you wouldn't want to eat anything other than the lemons. Those cheddar biscuits are calling my name. That's all I'm saying. I, I will eat nothing but the cheddar biscuits. I'm down. Yeah, I'm going to submit no merchant. Well, if I can, you know, get a decent time. I have to, like, learn all the new strats and stuff and try to get a good time in the next, like, week and a half. We'll see how that goes. So I'm submitting New Game Pro, No Merchant Pro, and Randomizer. So we'll be doing those three things for the next week and a half or so. Wait. I probably only need to do like two randomizers. What's up, Tokasaki? How you doing, dude? Can you join the full moon tonight? Follow me.
Your bus crashed into a car that wasn't even moving. Just parked on the side. Bus cut the corner and hit the window next to me. Jesus. You good? You all right, Chief? Sounds scary. Wait, follow, follow me. Wait, wait follow, follow me. Wait, wait, but wait, but wait, follow me. Wait, but follow, but wait, but wait, follow, wait, follow. Follow me. Wait, follow me. Wait, follow me. He is trolling, bro. That's called trolling. You just troll. Well, I'm glad you're fine. Yeah, probably. They probably will lose their bus driver license. Dude, how do you even learn to drive one of those things? They're so big. I would not want to do that. I'm a really good driver. I've never been in an accident in my life, except for that one time where that pole came out of nowhere, but I swear it came out of nowhere, man. You don't understand. <laughs> but I've never been in an accident. I still would never want to drive a bus. That just sounds so stressful. The big old double decker, bro. Jesus Christ. Zoink, Scoob. I feel like it's a one strike you're out system with that kind of thing, too. Like, you crash a double decker bus, bro. It's, oh, it's Jover. You're fired. You have family drivers who are truck drivers. And you have no idea how they do it. Yeah, one of my family members uh, is a truck driver. I That's crazy to me. Hey, your family, no, your family driver. I just figured you were so posh you had drivers and some of those drivers used to previously work as truck drivers until they became employed by you. You know? They could take over the estate. I love gold! I should not be doing this here. That's such a waste of time because I have the first aid spray. But I do want to run with a nade out here. And that's common. That's not the flash is not going to be in the top, right? So I should go left, left, down and then move up. Be better. Wait. Welcome. What are you selling? What are you buying? Come I wouldn't normally have that fire grenade, but I picked it up in cabin. Um, I could skip the fire grenade before Garador would save like a couple seconds. That was the bus driver right there. Oh man. Hopefully it wasn't that bad of an accident. Because uh, I don't think anyone's surviving that shit. You know, I was kind of sad when Auto Sort was a thing in Remake. Because I do like the mini meta game of doing the inventory quickly. However, there is a lot more inventory items in Remake. So the Auto Sort is something that I would not want to live without at all. The on-screen prompts don't necessarily align up with the keys that are being pressed, Lisa. End up looking like Duffel Bag Ashley? Oh no. <sighs> Sir, she'll never walk again. Wait. You'll have to carry her through the whole game. But that's pretty much what you do anyways, so all good. Yeah, I was doing this wrong before. Wait. Let's fix it. Go upstairs first. Tell her to wait. Then leave, come back. Grab the shock and ammo. Mataro. 
No, the keybinds aren't accurate. My keybinds are pretty unique and weird. I use ESCF to move and R for interact, V for Ashley wait. My inventory keys are all over the place, but it's not not the same weird that's on screen. I wonder if it would be worth it to switch to the nade early there. Probably not. That was a really good menu. Wow. That was like super fast. So skip this fire grenade. That's actually like a three second time save, I think. You play inverted? Okay, yeah, you're definitely gonna get flack. What the fuck? I use what to move? ESCF. It's just WASD, but you move everything to the right one, basically. It helps a lot in games where you need a lot of hockeys, like Doom Eternal. And so it just became like my default standard, how I just run everything. Because it gives you like four extra hockeys on the left side of your movement hands. It also puts your thumb more in the middle of the space bar, which is nice for Left 4 Dead because it makes me break less space bars from bee hopping. Oh, you know what I learned the other day? That's like a total game changer. That Ashley's a dumb bitch. No, um, I already knew that. I have no heals. That's not good. I'll talk about it later. One second. I feel like anyone who plays inverted is either weird or secretly a car. We found the Transformers. They've been hiding among us this whole time. Among us? Among us. Um, so I can't run Doom Eternal because 1.1 patch, which is what everyone speedruns on, which is like for a lot of reasons, like 10 plus minutes worth of reasons, uh, doesn't work on 40 series cards because of driver com conflicts. But I learned the other day that someone recently completed a speedrun mod for Doom Eternal, which basically restores all of the 1.1 tricks and glitches and like all the stuff that is negative about the current patch is fixed in that speedrun mod. So basically it's like playing 1.1, but you're playing on newest. And so it also does a few other things like remove a lot of cutscenes and like elevators and stuff and just like makes the game overall faster. But it seems like just the way to play the game actually. It's super sick and I can run it with my graphics card. So I think I'm going to run Doom Eternal again because of that. At least at the very least throw it back in marathons. Um, I have to set it up, but I can actually do like 90% restricted runs and 100% Ultra Nightmare runs and stuff and have it not be like 10 minutes slower. It'll actually be faster. Um, it obviously won't be able to go on the leaderboard, but it has its own leaderboard. Oh my god. Nice aim. It's own leaderboard with no runners on it, so I get free world record and can put world record in my YouTube titles. Honestly, a bonus. Among Us? Sauce? This water hall is so much more fun. Remake water hall. <laughs> Poor trance. He like knew it was doomed and he's just like, dude, just put me out of my misery already. Like, I don't want to play water hall. Is this time good? I got a late dive. It's not terrible. It's like still PVable. 
You're tripping. You you are you are fucking tripping on methamphetamine. Walter White cooked that shit in your house. In your brain. You are definitely tripping if you think remake water hall is easier. The help Ashley part's the easy part of Remake Waterhall. Because you snipe everything. How can you be so wrong, though? I don't know, you just are. You tell me, how can you be so wrong? I don't understand it either. So wrong, but it feels so right. All right, bonk. Lore wise, does the sewer section serve any purpose? Yeah, it moves their fecal matter from one place to the other. That's what sewers do. <laughs> yeah, it's a sewer. <laughs> the point of the sewer is to move your shit away from you so it doesn't make you sick. What did he mean? What did the author mean when he said the curtains were blue? What did he mean? Remake cabin is not bad. It's scripted. Reminder that the wizard in Hogwarts canonically used to soil themselves and then just use magic to make it go away. Why don't they just use magic to make it so they don't have to pee? That sounds way more sanitary. Yeah, bro, just remove your urethra. Yeah, see, see, simple. He gets it. What kind of cologne do you think Leon wears? I'm thinking something either Super Versace or Axe Body Spray. I don't think Leon knows what cologne is. I'm not sure he's smart enough for that. He's kind of a himbo. If he does, it's Axe Body Spray for sure. He's singing that boys locker room theme song like he just Halo 2 just came out, you know? Like he's back in middle school. The double pits to Chesty coming right up. Ready to save Ashley. Unrelated, but today I found that a fair amount of women use perfume when they go to the gym. I was talking with a girl and she smelled like perfume, so I asked and she said it's normal. You know... Yeah, like people, people wear stuff that makes them smell better. I'm trying not to be rude, but it's like pretty obvious, isn't it? 
like I wear deodorant when I go to the gym. I also just wear deodorant all the time. <laughs> you know, I feel like a lot of girls just wear cologne all the time. Sure, you're just going to get stinky later, but that's not really an excuse to not wear deodorant or cologne, right? Yeah, perfume. I mean, cologne, perfume. It's just gendered names for the same thing. You know what I'm fucking saying, bro. Semantics. Supposed to wear perfume to the gym? You've been doing it wrong? I mean, you don't have to, but lots of girls just wear perfume all the time. Like, I mean, like all the time. But like the French, they bathe in it, you know? You only do it if you're trying to impress somebody. Mm. Do you wear it when you watch my stream? You know, unrelated question. I'm just curious. You spray perfume after every set in the gym? Hell yeah, bro. I'm trying to stay fresh. Respect. Like, you're just trying to balance it out, you know? There's so many people in chat that haven't taken a shower in over a week. So you're like, I'm just gonna every rep add more perfume. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. You? You didn't have to out yourself. We would have never known, you know? He likes cologne. Noted. It's mandatory to enter Smash events. You have like a like a vaccine card, but it's like a haven't showered card. You just like put your thumbprint on it seven days in a row, and it gets progressively dirtier every day. It's like one of those cards that you get when you go to a fast food place. Every time you go there, they like stamp your card. You're only allowed to main Fox after you've been like three weeks without showering. The seating on the bracket is actually determined by the amount of time since showered. I learned that from Frenchie. That's a little faster. Pog. I implemented it. Instead of cologne, there's a pill that makes your farts scented. I mean, my farts are scented. I, they already got a scent. It's just not a good one. But they got a scent. We're already there. I'm way ahead of you, bro.
You know a person who makes scented fart pills in real life? No, you do not. Why are you just going on the internet and spreading misinformation? I, I don't understand. What's your long game here? Scented fart pills are not real. Surely. I'd like to believe they're not. You do you used to work with him? You got fired for spending too much time on his fenced fart pills during work hours. Ain't no way. I hope it paid off for him. I hope he's like a millionaire selling scented fart pills. Wait here. Just to stick it to the man. This is a new strat that I haven't done before. Hopefully I make the cycle. I did. Oh my god, just barely though. <laughs> How's the round going? Better than I would expect, honestly. I'm only 20 seconds behind my PB. And I'm pretty far in the game. Ah! Thank you for pointing. So instead of the chessboard, I grab that. That's a new thing. It's faster to do that than it is to grab the chessboard. Supposedly, probably, I mean like, yeah, I didn't lose any time because it's cycle based, right? So the, all the only time you lose time is the menus and the menus are really fast. And so I'll just save like six seconds or something in the nights in the, the room with the chessboard. That pointer, we came in clutch though. He needed to point. Otherwise, that would have been a lot slower probably. I gotta like lab that out and practice it. Hell yeah. I love gold! I love losing my gold! Wait, I saved time there? I must have fucked the menu up even worse than my PB. Yeah, because they bought the broken butterflies to the killer seven. Oh no. How does that even happen? Wait. They don't even look anything alike. I don't even think they're like next to each other in the merchant. You were just zooming, you were you're locked in, you were not paying attention. Aim! Right about board sizes. Honestly, I just want to hear you talk about your favorite size. What you experimented with and why. Never catch you talking about skate related things. For sure. Um, I My personal favorite board size is an 8.8. 8, which is like a really rare size that not many people r ride. Um, we're talking about skateboards, by the way, if chat is confused. Um, skateboards come in sizes, like width. The width, and it's like inches. So 8.8 8 is 8.8 .8 inches. I believe. Um, so like a standard size is like eight flat or an eight two five or an eight five. So riding anything as big as like an eight eight is like pretty big. And the problem with riding a bigger board is it's heavier, so it's harder to flip. Oh, that's not good. It's heavier, so it's harder to flip.
Um, I have kind of bigger feet. I have size 11 and a half. So an eight, eight is really good. Nice get a lot of transition. So I don't flip my board as much. So it doesn't really bother me at all that it's heavier and harder to flip. Um, I find having more room on my board makes it easier to skate transition because I'm going really fast and my feet can kind of tend to slide around. And if there's more room for them to slide around and not fall off the board, then that's better. And also when I do flip tricks, um, my legs are pretty strong. So the board being heavier, like I don't have a problem flipping it ever. It's mostly, it gives me more space to land on, which I like. When I was younger, I rode um, eights because I was a little kid. And eventually I went up to like eight, two, five, and then I was like eight, five, which is slightly bigger than standard, but it's pretty standard. Um, like an eight, five. And then I got into like shaped boards, like everyone knows I've like got popsicle skateboard, right? But there's also like multiple different shapes. Some of them have more squared tails or noses and like different sizes for stuff like that. None of it's universalized or standardized, except for the popsicle. Everything else is just like specialty stuff that you'll just find on the shelf somewhere and like like it or don't. Um, and the Novies are gonna make me go insane. Nope, nope, we're good. Okay, perfect. Bog. So let's go. We're almost ahead. Uh, when I got into shape boards, shape boards are almost always bigger, especially because when they cut the shape, they cut the shape negatively instead of adding. When they make a skateboard, they, they have like a 10 inch piece of wood that's not like nine ply or whatever, seven ply. And uh, they like trim it out, like cutting excess off. So when they make shape boards, they usually, like if it's a shape board, that's an eight, eight, then the eight bait is usually measured at the wheelbase. So like where your wheels come out of the board with the trucks. Um, but that means that other parts of the board could be wider or more narrow. So like it's an eight, eight there, but it could be like way thinner in the parts that aren't the wheelbase, you know? And so a lot of those shape boards to make that shape make sense, like are bigger, like, but the wheelbase is bigger. Um, but the rest of the board will be more pointed or shaped or whatever. So when I started writing shaped boards, because I thought they look cool. I started riding bigger boards because shape boards are always bigger because of that. And now I'm back to riding popsicles because the shape of the board on the tail and the nose can affect the way that it flips. And I've been doing a lot more flick tricks lately. So um, like I used to ride square tails a lot because I really like doing tail blocks, which is a trick where you like stand on the tip of the board. Um, and that's a trick that you do on transition a lot, but square tails make it hard to do hard flips because the squareness of the tail makes the board flip weird when flipping that direction. So I went back to going to a popsicle, but I stayed up in size, even though I was riding a popsicle because I just like the bigger board. I'm a big boy. I can flip it. It's not a big deal. Excuse me, sir. Pardon me. My menus right now are so jank. Was riding a skateboard for the first time scary for me? I mean, I was naked in my house and like five years old. I don't really remember. I assume not. I was naked. So. My mom tells me stories about that. It's pretty funny. I still have my first skateboard somewhere. I think it's my mom's house. Got some water yourself, isn't it? <laughs> come. I was not supposed to sell those. Being naked is scary. Yeah, true. Yo, Volky, thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. Welcome. That sucks. Got some water yourself, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> that was actually a pretty big time loss. I didn't sell the rifle. Oh my god. This is so bad. Rip BB. Ah! I literally just lost like a minute there. That was so bad.
Oh, PB's dead. No pressure anymore. How's your stream, Volky? What are you up to? I hate how this game is just menuing and movement. So annoying. Skateboard rant ruined it? No, my total and utter incompetence ruined it. You have nothing to do with that. Still playing an Ass Creed. Nice. It wasn't as bad as I thought. And I got Vertigo QT skip. I got the hard one though, so... Fuck yeah, I didn't get the second one. Shouldn't have dipped him in there. I should have dipped him in there though. it's hard to keep my balance. Well, when you're five years old, you're really not scared of anything. I definitely don't scared of anything when was five. Game, eat my inputs. Hungry, hungry hippos looking ass game. No, don't grab the Magnum. That ruins my inventory, but I do want the grenade. Yes. God, that was so slow. I found out why my inventory gets ruined. Actually, yesterday, that grabbing that Magnum ammo was actually a big problem. I should not be doing that. It just annihilates my inventory, so let's not do that. Ignore my totally intentional way of defeating this room. That's dev intended, obviously. They knew you could do that. Yeet. Whoa, that guy came out of nowhere. Oh my god, how did he not grab me? Please, no bees. Wanna see where they dug up the bugs? I'm using up all my good luck on my very first run. This is not good. So I'm canceling waifu -thon tomorrow. I'm sorry, but I'll be grinding RE4. So like, I think that satisfies more people anyways. Good luck resets nightly. Ooh, does it? Badge. I'm sorry. I need to. I just need the time spent for GDQ. You know. I'll probably do a randomizer and some runs. Is my plan. 
Honestly, there's not that many new strats. There are, but most of them are like really, really hard and not, I don't have enough time to actually learn them. Too easy. Like there's a new village strat and a new village inventory and a new cabin strat, but all of those are like too hard for me to learn in that short amount of time and actually get a, like a better time with. So like, I just have to kind of grind with old strats. I did have Frenchie go over my run and give me like a review of what I need to improve and stuff yesterday. And so there are a couple of strats I need to learn. And I will. Um. But I'm not going to do the big ones. Mostly the stuff I have to learn is in late game. Oh, yeah. Damn it, I missed that. Yo, Gorons. Thank you for the cactusy for the 11 months. Appreciate you. Much love. Thank you, thank you. It's a lot of cactusy. Yeah, it is coming up quick, so I need to spend my time on, like, resting RE4. Honestly, though, this run is pretty promising. Uh, if I didn't have that big menuing mistake, I'd probably be ahead right now, actually. So I think I could definitely get, like, a 124 that time. I don't want to go too hard on New Game Pro, because I do want to... I need to de-rust No Merchant as well, and that will probably take more time. So, we'll see how much I could squeeze in. Randomizer only takes like three hours, and I probably just need to do two of them. One to get accustomed with doing it again, and then another one to like record the showcase for the submission. What's up, Disco? Thanks for the luck. It's world record, so 119. It's like seven minutes of improvement and all of it is movement and menuing. <laughs> it's like super small time saves here and there. Micro movement stuff and menuing are my two least favorite things in all of speedrunning too, which sucks. Ever played Beat Saber? I have. It's great. Thanks, Death Danny. Appreciate it, man. It's all good. There will be more in the future, I'm sure. I still got a big list of DMC stuff I gotta get, get to as well. It's just taking a backseat for the GDQ submissions. Why the graphics look so good? Is it a mod? No, I'm playing on PC. And I'm not even using HD graphics, this is standard graphics. This is the same graphics that were in the PSC version, or GameCube version. Believe it or not. The most expensive hobby I have? Speedrunning. <laughs> I mean, I get a big ROI on it, obviously, but... Like, one of the games I wanted to submit to GDQ is Time Spider Future Perfect, but I need to run it on console because GDQ doesn't take emulator runs. So I'm, like, heavily debating buying a Series X. I'm just afraid I'm not going to have enough time to be able to do all of that before GDQ submissions are over. I definitely am going to buy a Series X sooner or later. Because I want to run Gears of War 2 and 3, and I want to run Time Splitters on console for GDQ stuff, and there's a couple things like that. But I'm just like, do I buy it now? Do I wait? I think I'm probably going to end up waiting. We'll see.
You can afford it, rich man? I could, and then I paid my taxes. Like a pushover. Imagine not committing tax fraud. But, uh, yeah. Well, I haven't paid them yet, but that money's tied up. And, uh, yep. That shit's expensive. More than I thought it was gonna be, too. I'm not standing in the exact right place, so this is kind of causing problems. But I'm saving it pretty well, at least. Nice crit. You're scared to file yours? Yep. I don't have any withholding. And, uh... Yeah. It's really expensive. <laughs> Big chat, get me one for my birthday. True. My birthday is coming up. It's very, very soon, chat. It's in five days. My birthday is the 19th of March. Welcome. I'll be turning 25. Got 40 of buying. <laughs> Come back anytime. I'm old. That's like, that's almost a hundred years old. 25? That's basically a hundred. 25 times four is a hundred. That's basically a hundred. Make sure you pay your taxes every quarter. Yeah, I do get penalized for that. But I haven't set it up and I don't have like a tax account or something, so at the moment it's not worth it, but I'll probably get it set up at some point. Just get a tax account? Easy. True. Got some, what are you buying? <laughs> Any cute girls out there that want to help me with my taxes? Yeah, taxes check. Chad, have you paid your taxes? Speaking of cup check, chat, how many cups do you have in your room? Take the cups that are in your room and go put them in the sink. What are you doing? 17 cups, bro. Just bring the fucking washing machine into the bedroom at that point. Dishwasher, not the washing machine. You shouldn't put your cups in the washing machine. That might break it. Your cup is full of tea. You will once you're done. Mm-hmm, sure you will. You're not my dad! Sneaky ass doobie head. Honestly, there should be a dryer for dishes. Why isn't there? Yeah, I'm fast as fuck, boy. You can't make that joke faster than me. Two coffee mugs. Well, put put one of them away. You're gonna hang your cups on the clothesline out back? Who's f I, I'm, I'm pressing tab, please. My Dittmans are awful. I am pressing tab. It's Hungry Hungry Hippos the game. Eating my goddamn inputs. Who is fuckboy? I am fuckboy. You Well, 
Well, that's a big time save room. I'm a fuck boy. According to chat, all right? Not self ascribed. Chat tells me I'm a fuck boy. Which I don't agree with, but. That was four hours ago. I an elephant never forgets. And Ashley is in this game and her ears are fucking huge. Okay, actually the problem with my Dittmans is I'm pressing tab again too fast to, to close the inventory. That's like where I'm losing a lot of time with my Dittmans. Is not in the equip, it's in the tab to close the inventory again. Doing it too quickly. Waifu well, just seduces tons of women and leaves them like a heartless bastard. Leave them for my girlfriend, stay with her, and never seduce anyone else again. Yeah, you're right. That's that Norwalk land. They do indeed. Back to RE4 for the time being. Try to get a better time for GDQ submissions. Uh, that's a new strat for me. Saves a flash grenade and picks up an extra one and is faster. I have fathered 28 children and pay for none of them. That's not true. I never even had sex. Ah, equip it. Jesus. And Ashley's stuck. I should get up, you dumb hoe. The usual strat is I would throw a flash there. Thing. Ashley, don't be rude. That's Twitch chat. They're here every run, all right? Come on. That's fucking rude. I shouldn't have Dittman. Hopefully I can... It could be okay. Yeah, we're fine. So we're not gonna do... The slow Wrecking Ball strats. We're gonna do Home Run. Which I have not done in forever. I was supposed to run around there. Follow. They're dabbing. Dab on the haters. Where is Ashley? Is she stuck? Come on, Ashley. Get up. Wait, follow, wait, follow. You know, for having zero practice in that strategy, that went pretty well. Wait. I still lost like seven seconds, but...
Why can't Leon crawl? His shoulders are too massive. He's fucking jacked. He can't strain his back out like that. All the deadlifts he does, it's like destroyed his knees. He can't do it anymore. What's up, Athania? For a short time. I gotta stretch when I play this game. Chad, you should try to remind me. When I'm playing a lot of RE4, make sure I stretch my hands because <laughs> this shit actually destroys my left hand. It's part of the reason why I don't run it very often. Are you my coach? Yeah, exactly. Chat's my coach. Destroying your left hand is caused by something else. No, I use my right hand for that. Like a normal human. Stretch your hand? Thanks, I forgot. I really needed the reminder. He doesn't use both? I, I don't even use one, bro. I use like two fingers. That's all that fits. What can I say, man? I just wasn't as blessed as you, all right? God, now drop it. What is, in your opinion, the greatest game of all time? Well, you see, you see, son, there can only be one, and that's Devil May Cry 3. Clitoris Andy. I think you meant to say Clitoris Carson, but anyways, I don't know what that is. So, bomb pick me up, I'm scared. Can you show it to me on a map? Neopets, let's go. The MC3 is a six speed game. It's true. Scooby is a cool game. You know, I said I wasn't going to upload that run I did the other day because it was so bad. It's scheduled to upload, so if anyone wants to watch me fail GGS for an hour, uh, it'll be on the Archive channel. And I'm not exaggerating. It was literally an hour. Have you watched this play a difficult game about climbing? Getting over it? Oh. You were a whole bitch for that. to stretch your hands bro i'm gonna stretch your fucking i mean what pull
The name is a difficult game about climbing. No, I've never heard of it. I don't watch this that often. He's a cool dude, but I honestly like never see him on. I'm not a huge Souls guy. Uh, what? My hull? Well, of course he is. It's dissed. Speedruns everything. Been a long time, comrade. Krauser. I died in a crash two years ago. Is that what they told you? You're the one who kidnapped Ashley. You cut you all quick, as expected. After all, you and I both know where we come from. Ha! Ha! Who? What do you want? Hmm. Hua. Hua. The sample Sadler developed, that's all. Leave Ashley out of this. Oh, I needed her to buy Sadler's trust in me. Like you, I'm American. Barrel. You want mom to get the camera for the ASMR? That doesn't even make sense. They're like not the same medium. You got her involved just for that? Ah, ting, 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 ting. Yeah. <laughs> All for Umbrella's sake. Umbrella? Almost let it slip. Enough talk. Die, comrade. Ada! Well, if it isn't the bitch in the red dress. Capital D Colin, bro. Why is he so muscular? Were they appealing to a specific group? Yes, you know which one? Men. But it's not like you could escape your inevitable death, is it? More or less. Maybe it's about time you told me the reason why you're here. Maybe some other time. Who won the bingo race? We did two races. Trance won the first one, I won the second one. We are planning on doing a rematch. I golded the cutscene. Let's go. Huge. I have cutscene faster than I have ever cutscene before. You kind of want Ada's hair? You want a bob like that? You gonna do it? Cut off all your hair? Get a bob? Seems like a lot of work. Too easy. I know, right, Harks? Just GDQ things. GDQ submissions. You're too lazy, but you'll think about it longingly. I have never and would never cut my hair. I do not think about that kind of thing longingly. Nice. That was big. Excuse me, sir. Pardon me. Oh, we're not the wall.
Oh, I'm a fucking struggle bus right here, Jesus Christ. My movement there is so bad. I thought I was gonna miss that rocket for a second. I would've been so embarrassed. The stream literally would've ended instantly. I just would've like... ...punched my fucking PC... ...and just took it out. Like a Doom Eternal glory kill. Just rip the fucking graphics card out so this stream ends. The stream would end, but Doom Eternal music would start playing. You'll cry if my stream ends? Well, get ready to cry in like 10 minutes. Because after I finish this run, I'm done for the day. TV is still doable? Probably. Welcome. I don't know. Hey Snam, how you doing dude? You just got here though? I'm sorry bro. Should've showed up earlier. Well, I got some DMC one rest so that Karma can take my record. I get some more content. Yo! Never walk alone, thanks for gifting the sub to Snam, which is... Appreciate that. I'm gonna quit your job. You should quit your job. Content creation, full time, baby. I believe in you. Fuck any and all responsibilities. Play video games. Real. I mean, they're going to be massively ahead after I get my actual splits numbers back, or I'm going to be behind. Nice statue skip. Let's go, bro. I still got it. I literally, I still got it. Sorry, for what? Oh, I responded! I'm trolling, I suppose! Ah! Rip. There goes like six seconds. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I'm trolling! Climb the ladder! I hate this game. I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it and it stinks. Oh, you gifted 12 months! Holy shit! Thank you so much, Rock Alarm, for gifting 12 months to sandwiches. I appreciate it. Bro. This was so good, and then it was not so good anymore. Tragically, in an accident, there was a fire. I was gonna save time, and then I wasn't. And then it's still good? No, I'm like 30 behind. I have no idea how much time save I have in other places. Actually. So, we'll find out, I guess. And before I lose PB because I responded to Krauser. That would be a new one.
Not the inventory memes. No. Press the lever. We're fine. I need to like, completely relearn this room, by the way. My shot here is like super bad and outdated, but uh, I did not bother to relearn it before I did this run, so. To do it some other time. If I could shoot the right side, no way, right? No, he's not. Tragic. Yeah, swiped him clean. Yeah, the wrong side, dumbass. Yeah, I'm not gonna save any time in this section because the strat's really slow and bad and old. And like worse than I did in my PB. Still a decent run. Definitely can't PB anymore though. I need to honestly just do all of Island from scratch, like just completely redo all of my strats for Island. And practice it for most of my time savers, I think. Oh, is your favorite part of the run? It's by far my least favorite. I hate it. It stinks. Dip mining in every room is really painful on the hands, actually. And is not fun. Oh, I kicked the door, so I lost Dipmin. That's right. I love Island, bro. Such a good part of the game. Bat chest. Oh, it's so fun. I love it. I love Island. So fun. Engaging. Interactive. Definitely not just a dice roll. God, he pointed. Like, I mean, physically painful, actually, to read it, men in every room. Like, it hurts my hands. Touch my hands in the middle of the run? I guess I could pause. It's cringe. Ashley's stuck on nothing. Give me a hand workout. Oh, well. Uh, uh, 
yeah, how would your boyfriend feel about you saying that in my chat, huh, B? SMH. GG's though. Not a 126 and not a PB, but pretty close. I definitely need to practice Island. My least favorite RE game to speedrun, RE2 Remake. Easily. I don't think I'm physically capable of doing it anymore. I have a rare medical condition called being bored as fuck. It manifests very similarly to narcolepsy. I just fall asleep in the middle. I actually can't beat the game. Like, if I, I try, I just fall asleep. One twenty seven though. GG. Isn't that a common thing with the remakes? It is actually, it's, it's pretty true. GG's. That's a not bad for a D rust though. Like I just did one D rust run, like the first run with an actual timer in like a year at least. And I got a 127. I definitely could PB soon TM. Uh, probably tomorrow. <laughs> I just need to, I need to practice island and stuff first. At 132, 30 RTA. Uh, 